however painful this is for all the English listeners, right? When when Peter Sefatois, I want you to, I want to like, I want to just details here because you absolutely fucking ruined the World Cup for us. Okay, and this is your one opportunity. I, I want to live it like blow by blow. So Peter Steph the the toy gives you the little pop pass. What are you thinking, man? I told myself before the game, World Cup final, if I'm going to be able to touch a ball, I'm going to make the most out of it because. You don't touch a ball in a World Cup final as a winger that much. You're either chasing the ball or it's just penalties or it's kickoffs. I just saw that opportunity, a loose ball and receiving the ball on full speed. And man, the first thing for me was just the try line. That's all that I thought of. Obviously, with that, there was players covering and people in fr- guys in front of me. Obviously, for me, I just had to avoid being tackled and the first two guys I saw on my inside I think it was uh, Joe Moller and I'm not sure who the other guy was Owen was it Owen Farrell? No I know Owen was in front I don't know <laughs> 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 the last. <laughs> you should have oh, Owen the last. <laughs> oh yeah uh, no 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 no. but yeah I think yeah for me I just got the ball and I went on the goose and just Kept going on the outside because I saw the two fours and I just backed my pace to get on the outside. And I had one more guy in front of me. And man, I just did anything that I could to just being a void, getting tackled or anything. And I went on the on the double step to the outside first and then just whacked in as hard as I could to the inside. I felt the uh, arms and eating me and anything, but I just, I never felt I was held to anything. And that's when I knew I was free and it was just a try line in front of me. Um, And that's where I went to. I went down running as fast as I could. I probably could have gone under the post or closer to the post, to be honest with you. But I just wanted to dot that ball down. Um, Scared not to make a mistake or not to ruin this moment. We're really (laughs) thrilled for you, Ches, then. We we really are. (laughs) I can't tell you how nice and how therapeutic this is. Cheslin, you said that your celebration, you know, I, I interrupted you, but you basically said that you, you don't celebrate, but your celebration was kind of the final icing on the cake for you to, sh- to say to everyone, look, I fucking did it. <laughs> no, 100%. I think that definitely sealed the, the World Cup final. And for me, just the emotions and everything behind that, uh, that try and the way I... I celebrated it. It was for so many people back in South Africa. Um, I think we've South Africa has been in so in such a difficult time, and people back home has really been supporting us. People watching videos throughout the week, just the atmosphere back home, and to know that I've done that back in 2007. Also, just shouting, cheering, just going nuts all over the show, and here I am scoring a, a try in the World Cup final. The first thing. I thought of was that young boy that probably did the same thing, um, just went crazy. And that's how I celebrated. I just went crazy. I just went nuts. I just enjoy that moment because it was a relief to me, to be honest, um, to show so many people that, uh, that I have the capability of, of playing at the highest level and the things that I had to overcome, um, I could show them by, by the way I, I did it. 